Welcome back. 826 now you're watching the Fox 9 Morning News on this Saturday morning. You know, summer weather finally here. We're going to see temps in the 80s, maybe even a 90 by Tuesday. A lot of us are no doubt going to turn on our air conditioner unit. So what was the last time you had your AC or your central air checked? Well, it may cost a few bucks now, but I am told in the long run it could just save you some money. And joining us now are Adam Anderson and Alex Hennessy from Minneapolis St. Paul Plumbing, Heating and Air. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for coming in because I think I've heard a lot of the squeaky fans around the neighborhood. Sure. What should we be doing when it comes to right now, if we have, even if we have turned it on, what should we be looking for if we go outside for, as far as the homeowner goes? Well, for homeowners, I guess a, one of the easiest things that homeowners can do to make sure the air conditioning is running tip top, mm -hmm. make sure your furnace filter is nice and clean. Okay. Um, you should change it out about every six to eight weeks. Secondly, you want to go outside, make sure that there isn't, that the air con condensing unit here has got, uh, doesn't have you know, shrubs or trees around it. Uh, you can even take a garden hose and you want to clean off the condensing unit and the fins around the unit to make sure you get, get rid of the cotton and some of the leaves that you know build up and the debris. So you can give it a good spray then. I mean, you can really, yep. you want to make sure that all that stuff's out. You're not going to hurt anything inside of there. Correct. You, you're not going to hurt it. You don't want to use a power washer and you don't want to use an air compressor mm -hmm. because there's some real fine fin and tube, which is also what the A-coil is made of, that if these get damaged, that can affect the efficiency of the equipment. This is inside the home. So this is Correct. in your furnace right yep this is right above your furnace this is the actual cooling unit and this is the unit that the blower motor is going to push the air and this is going to remove the humidity and remove the heat of the air so this unit is if this gets dirty that causes uh, inefficient air conditioning mm -hmm. and that's why you want to keep your furnace filter nice and clean but as a homeowner we don't get into this part of it do we do we would we check to see if this part was clean no no this that's what okay so then I guess the question is Correct. then for Alex when do we call you well, uh, <laughs> when, when, when you come and find out it's dirty, if we're noticing that it's not getting good cold air, right, when, when yeah, do we know to call? If your house isn't cooling appropriately, uh, if it's just not uh, getting to where it should be, then uh, you can call us. We come out right now. We're running a special for $89 that uh, we come out and professionally clean your outdoor unit. Um, we do some diagnostic tests, see if the temperature differential is uh, where it should be. We like to see it between 16 and 21 degrees of cooling from the air that's in your house to what comes out of your furnace. Well, you know, Adam just mentioned about the furnace filter every six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, we can do that ourselves. You know, what, how often should we have our system tuned up then by somebody like you to come out to the house? What, what do you recommend? Every spring. Oh, so once a year. So yeah. just like you'd have your furnace checked yeah, in correct. the summertime to be ready for the fall and winter. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. how, what can that do then? What kind of money savings? Because people are going to say, well, okay, maybe it's $90, $100, whatever it is to have you guys mm -hmm. come out every spring or summer. What does that mean in the long run? What kinds of things do you find then mm -hmm. during those annual checkups that we might not find? And what's that going to cost us? Sure. Well, for instance, uh, you might find that there's uh, air in the refrigeration line, which would cause uh, an excess of pressure and eventually burn out your compressor. Um, and then to replace a compressor, how yeah, much is wanna, that? You're looking at like 1800 bucks to replace a compressor. So wow. you'd almost be better off, uh, you know, just replacing the whole unit at that point. So I would say, you know, yesterday I was on a clean and tune. I found air in someone's line, got the air out of there their units okay. Talk about the efficiency then when it comes to our monthly bill. Mm -hmm. If we do have, if we do get that tune up for $100 again or whatever it happened to be, $90 in your case right now, what can that mean in our rates as far as our usage? Yeah, well, um, as you increase the efficiency of the, the total system's operation, then you, know, you reduce your heating bills. Uh, one thing that's recommended is a programmable thermostat, for instance. Um, you can save 10 to 30 percent on your monthly energy bills by, the, by replacing that. And you just stop monkeying so. with it, and I guess you, you, you then dele uh, delete that that play in your in your thermostat. Any final tips? We're just about out of time. Any final tips that you give to the well, homeowners? Biggest thing is make sure you're replacing your furnace filter every six to eight weeks and that you're taking the garden hose to the outside of the condensing unit. That'll help. Mm -hmm. um, and that'll help increase the efficiency. And today's you know efficiency equipment like, like this particular unit, this is running up to about a 16 sear, which is about eight sear more efficient than most people's equipment today. So. And, and real quickly, the $10 furnace filter versus the $1.50, should we buy the $10 one? You know, you just want a nice, good pleated 3M filter is, okay. is a good filter. You don't necessarily want too thick of a filter because then that causes your blower motor to work harder hard to pull to the, the air, air through. through. But uh, okay. you should get a nice, you know, $8 filter about every six to eight weeks. All right. Adam and Alex from St. Paul Plumbing, Heating and Air, thank you very much for joining us this morning on this thank beautiful you. Saturday morning. Marina's going to let us know how long we're going to need our central air and our air conditioners right after the break.